This is Lesson 101, VHDL Example 68. And in this example, we'll write a VHDL program for a read-only memory, or a ROM. Here's a ROM, a read-only memory, that contains eight memory locations. The addresses are labeled 0 to 7. So there's a 3-bit address, address 2 to, down to 0, which goes from 000, 000 to 111. Each memory location contains a byte, and the output of the ROM is M, 7 down to 0. So if the input address is 3, the output M will be the 5555. If the address is 1, out comes C4. If the address is 7, out comes C6. So these are permanent values stored in this read-only memory. Here's how we can write this program in VHDL. The inputs will be an address, standard logic vector 2 down to 0, and the output will be m7 down to 0. <clears throat> then we just enter all the values by storing them in constants. I'll just label them data 0 to data 7. They're all of standard logic vector 7 down to 0. And we can assign the values either as a string, so the 85 can be a 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Here's a C4. Or we could list them as hex numbers. <coughs> hex, remember, is x, quote, E6, uh, 55, 67, D4. <coughs> Here's F4, written in binary, C6, written in binary. So these are the constants that are going to get stored in here. Then we define a new type called ROM array. We say ROM array is array. This is an array type. Natural range less than greater than means that the number of elements in this array are unknown, as they can be anything. They're of type standard logic vector 7 down to 0. This means that every entry in the array, 85, C4, are all of type standard logic vector 7 down to 0. Then we'll define a constant called ROM of type ROM array. That is one of these ROM arrays containing 8-bit standard logic vectors. And then we'll just put colon equal, and then we'll just enumerate the values stored in this constant, namely this data 0 to data 7. So data 0 to data 7 will store the 85, C4, E6, and so forth in this array containing eight values. <clears throat> to read out the data then, we just have a process with address in the sensitivity list. So anytime this 3-bit address changes, we'll execute this process. We'll define a variable j of type integer, and then we'll set j equal to the address. Of course, we have to convert it to an integer. So this 3-bit address, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, will get converted to the integers 0 to 7. And then the output m is just ROM sub j. So j can be the integers 0 to 7. So that's all you need to define a ROM. And we can simulate it to see uh, that it works. Here's the address 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and out comes the contents of the ROM 85C4, E6, and so forth. Here's a top-level design we can use to test our ROM. We'll use the same GCD program uh, that we had in a previous lesson. And you remember, in that case, we used the switches here to set the X and Y values and then when we pushed button 0, we got a clock pulse, which would compute the greatest common divisor and display it on the 7-segment display. What we'll do is we'll replace the switches with our ROM, and we'll use the upper nibble for X and the lower nibble for Y of each memory location, and we'll use a 3-bit counter to cycle through the 8 addresses. And the clock pulse for the counter will come from the output of our clock pulse, this go 1. So every time you push button 0, 
you'll get a single clock pulse which will increment the count and then the next greatest common device will be displayed on the seven segment display. So we can just make that top level design. We'll have the usual inputs uh, for the entity and then the uh, uh, architecture will contain the various signals and then we just port map all the components. Clock div, same one we had before. Debounce 4 is the same. Clock pulse is the same. GCD 3 is the same. Uh, X7 seg BC is the same. We'll use our generic counter. We'll make it 3 bits and the clock comes from Go 1 that is the single clock pulse and the output Q will be the address to our ROM and so here's our ROM 8 so that's the address and then the output M goes to M. So this top level design you can download to your FPGA board and as you push button 0 it will cycle through 8 different values in the ROM and compute the greatest common divisor of the upper and lower nibble of each output.